Hey everybody, Coffee Traveler, coming back to you with Speedy. Uh, oftentimes people say play Lance on this character, play other things on this character. One of the problems I have with Speedy is that it hurts my eyes to play. Um, and then uh, the other problem is standing still is really bad for you. I choose to play Speedy on a controller. I used to play it on mouse, but we like to play it on controller as well too. Because uh, then you can control when you're stopping because you're pushing the an the, the uh, directional stick around the edge of the where of where it can turn. And therefore you're still considered moving rather than pressing keys and then you have to press one down and then can keep them held down. Uh, let's get started. I'm going to play Shuriken because you can just basically stand still. One of the problems with Shuriken is that it's such low damage, but Speedy gets such good flat damage that you stack crit on this and you become an absolute monster. Um, I do stand still quite a bit on it because it does uh, hurt my eyes to play after a while. Highest amount of speed that I would ever get anymore. I went all the way up to 100 one time. You're going moving too fast and your attack speed doesn't keep up to like hit with weapons. Um, and it hurts my eyes above like 60% speed. So if you're having these problems, go ahead and take some notes here and figure out how you can uh, be a different speedy as it were. Be not quite so speedy. Uh, what's this? What do we want here? This attack speed or percent damage are like interesting, uh, but I kind of want crit or harvesting. So there's the crit chance. It's only three, but shurikens bounce on crit, so I'm gonna take that. I think I even lock tree here. Um, actually, whoops, we're on controller and not key mouse and keyboard. Oh well, I get to lock scar here. These are all very good. I like shackles on this character it makes taking more speed more manageable. Yeah, Mort, I agree, but also you're not guaranteed any items in a game, so you have to still find that item. And finding a tier 3 item and, and relying on it to be there is like not always manageable, right? Because um, you're guaranteed no items in this game. And I don't think I'll be turbo rerolling for shackle shackles to like try to get there, right? The tree is already starting to pay for itself, so maybe it's okay that that was taken. But yeah, I find Shuriken to be an absolute powerhouse. Uh, I don't really want the minus luck right now. Okay. Hey, Harvesting. Hey, Shuriken. Hey, Shuriken. Don't have a toxic. It's around 60. Tried 100. Yeah. <laughs> I died to the wave 20 bosses. 100 feels really good because your damage is really high. Uh, but then I was like, well, what if I just play Shuriken and then you just have a ranged weapon on Speedy? And you're like, oh, well, this is just so easy. We can just sit here and do whatever, whatever we want because we do enough damage. So it doesn't even matter. Right? Because sometimes you're fighting with it to be like, oh, man, where do I stand? Where's this? I hate lances on this character for sure. Um, Thief Dagger, very good because you get all the extra money, right? To spend on things, so... But yeah, thanks for thanks for comments. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate you. Um, let's just take this three armor. It's like while we're moving is good. I'm gonna take the luck too to replace our luck stat back up. More shuriken, please. <laughs> I mean, I guess I did take the luck stat, so. But shuriken's just pretty free. I don't know. Feels more free than any melee, uh, like any like non-ranged run I've done. Played all the weapons on it, just to be like, oh, which one's good? What's this? What's that? Standing still is bad. Understood. Running my mouth and dying, also bad. Uh, happens frequently, so one of the things that you may want to do on your runs is focus up. Be ready to play. Uh, I kind of want crit or tech speed. Uh, harvesting's fine too. Armor's good too. <clears throat> Hello, fertilizer. Hello, wheelbarrow. Seems really good. Like, really, really good. You basically can play like streamer kind of where you just stand still you're the streamer ghost kind of character going on Whoop. So for when the horn charging guys come in uh they're a little a little spooky for sure for sure
But yeah, Shaggle's incredible on this character. Uh, what else is incredible? Um, for me running uh, shurikens, I just want more shurikens. They get so much value out of leveling up. Uh, no thank you, I'll take the money. I don't want any of this. Take none of that. I mean, I guess 10 more harvesting, sure. Star bullets, okay. Because uh, we're not seeing a lot of them, so we don't bounce a lot. It'll be worse later, but it's okay. Higher range is good and all, but I don't think I want to turn off lifesteal. I also, like I said before, want to get uh, more shurikens. Mm -hmm. More XP gains is pretty good too, but more shurikens, please. More crit, sure. Hey, shuriken. And for a wave 11, a little bit of knockback. We are short on hit points right now, but we have greeted so hard on harvesting. Like, very, very greedy on harvesting right now. It's great. It's great for the long term. But we do have to not die right now. Just, just don't die. Just don't die. It'll be okay. Easier said than done. Go for the tree, see if we get another crate. Would like a little bit of pickup range. Uh, or just more shurikens so we can kill everything uh, more succinctly. Uh, we'll take this lifesteal to put us back into life stealing, and then just how do you get away from a tier 3 stat? I don't know. If anyone knows, let me know. Tier 3 stat looks pretty good there. Uh, let's take the baby gecko. His range, and I was just bitching about not having enough range, and then I give up range here. Still like more... Oof, need more health too. Oh, goodbye range. Hello, more damage. Um, wave 7, what have I done with my life? We are behind on weapon upgrades, uh, it looks like. Uh, by wave 7, you kind of want to have all tier 2 weapons. Um... But also, all runs will be different. That's why Brotato is like such an incredible game. Every single run is very, very different. I love that. Absolutely love that about the game. We don't have to be running around like a madman. Trying not to like run into aliens. We can just have them try not to run into us. If you want to follow down the healing alien. Otherwise, you will. if you have like two or three healing aliens up, you'll just never kill another alien. I don't think we have that big of damage problems here, but that's one of the considerations for this wave. Tentacle's incredible. Okay. Attack speed's pretty good. I also kind of want hit points. Set damage is pretty good. Still would like hit points. Takes anything but hit points every time um hey hit points minus crit but like i need hit points so badly hey there's pickup range so badly i do i'm not a piggy bank enjoyer i would recommend that nobody buy the piggy bank unless you're on streamer or you are on uh you're on demon just ruin your run just throw away money what piggy bank is saying is like i want to throw away a ton of money and die to like the first elite because I didn't remember to cash out. Savers doesn't have to buy one from the shop, Miguel. Thanks for coming in though. Thanks for your comment, appreciate that. Savers starts with one. He doesn't have to buy it in the shop. I also think picking it up off the ground is fine, but then you just don't save a ton of money in it. You just get some ambient money from it. So you're never like rolling all the way down. What am I missing here? I still need. I still want upgrades on the the shurikens. I still want more health. Take more armor. This is more health. It's kind of spooky. We don't have any self damage. I just do the double check. Bimka, hi. How's your kid doing? Are they feeling better? And I want more max HP, but also this is one of the best defensive items in the game, so we take it. Uh, we probably take wings next, and I'll do a re one reroll because rerolling with a locked item feels so bad, so bad. 
Just don't die. Just turn the lights back on. Pay the health bill. Parents this weekend? Oh, there you go. Also, parents taking them while you're sick is like a huge boon. Oh my god. Being able to trust your parents with your kids overnight? Holy shit. I don't know that my brother trusted uh, the parents with the kid overnight, but uh, yeah. Being able to have that relationship is huge. Let me get some water here. We take a look at our stats. God, I still want more HP. We're like halfway to where I like to be at HP by wave 10. <laughs> Not one spawning next to me as I started back up. Ooh, spooky. There's a tree up top that I want to go for. Water damage feels really good. Um, I just need higher tier shortkins so that they bounce more. Really, really want that tree for an item. No item. We also miss out on 90 bucks. Not my favorite. Go ahead and recycle that. 12 armor. I think 12 armor is enough. Let's go to another another stat here. Range or attack speed is really good. We'll take the attack speed first. Before we take range. Range feels kind of like a luxury. Reroll this. Take the max HP. Damage is probably really nice, but take the max HP. Reroll for more weapons. There we go. And there's the shackles, which is really good too. We were just talking about this earlier. The range and the HP regen are valuable. BG3. You streaming any of that or? Do I get to do I get to raid into that? A little bit later. Yeah, Baldur's Gate is an absolute masterclass of a game. I'm waiting for it to go on, like, Super Sale or something. I'm like, oh, I'll play it later. I'll we'll, we'll play it later. So far behind? Yeah, yeah, you're good. One of these days. Yeah, go ahead and give Bimka a follow. She does stream some Sims when she can. And maybe some Blood on the Clock Tower when she has a voice. What about this speedy run here? I don't know, they have 15% attack speed feels really good. Shackle's also gonna be feeling really good. After you completed it, yeah, for sure. It's gonna get cozy with it, right? Take some of that, take the money, take the crit chance. I don't know that we need to get super high crit chance. We're at 69, nice. So just a little bit higher. Tier four stat, uh, that's pretty good. How do I get away from it? I don't know. Brown. HP, lure for more regen, more dodge here, probably. Also more hit points here. We have no hit points. Ah. Oh hell yeah, we shout out the beautiful people. I also love to hear about other people's projects as well too, right? Don't make the stream about yourself or the YouTube comments about yourself, but let me know about your projects. Like, love to hear about it. My project doesn't go well without the help of other people, that's for fuck sure. Uh, where are we at on speedy here? More weapon upgrades is like where I'm feeling it, but damage is good. Um, we have two tier three weapons and they're bouncing all over the place. They're doing good damage. Getting to the crit cap, also important. You want every single one that you ever throw out to bounce to the maximum. I need to get in here and uh, collect all this. Do not want to see Colossus as the next elite. That would be not great. You have a ton of armor too while we're moving, so. Get offered white flag? I mean, I guess. Being offered here, and we already have like plus 5%, and I'm kind of worried about our damage in our life, so. Uh, I'm going to take this garden. It may be a pit stop and it may save our life here because I am, again, concerned about our max HP. Yeah, so take three armor. Um, crit and dodge we're at. We take both of these because then we'll be at like near 100%. Ugly Tooth also helps. Um, tentacle also, also helps. Okay, okay. Where are we at? 94? Okay, we take the claw tree. 
And because I like to buy out, I'm going to just take the scar too. So let's go. Let's go get it. Oh, we don't have to fight. Col we don't have to fight Colossus. That's great. We have to fight this guy, who is probably the easiest one for us to fight. We can outrange him here. And we get to 1v1, because with bounce weapons, this is the best part of bounce weapons, is you just get to 1v1 with the boss. Look, right now there's the tentacles coming out, but he doesn't get to go that far, because we have an ugly tooth. But hey, uh, come back here, bud. bud. Hey. Hey, sir. 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 We get touched by a round boy. I thought we were going to kill him, but we did not throw a shuriken at him. So it's kind of spooky to be standing still over here, because uh, armor is at, like, negative 100. And it will do a lot of damage. When we're being caged in a little bit due to the phase 4 on Monk. Oh, great. Uh, sure, take it. Hey, HP. Hey, HP. All right. 13 more HP. That's, like, 20%, 25% more HP. Feels good. Um, our percent damage is really low. Uh, I'm going to take this dodge over the harvesting. Feels weird, but that's where we're at. Get harvesting over here. Landmines are no good. Another shuriken. I don't want to do this. We have negative luck, but I'm going to ditch the tier 1 shuriken for this. I'm also going to take this gummy berserker because the extra range and attack speed is very good at this point. Normally don't buy that, but uh, that's where we're at. It's probably the easiest elite we could fight. We could have done some trickier things by moving around like crazy. But what if we just chill? What if you could just chill on Speedy? What if? It's a kind of a different way to play Speedy. It's my favorite way. I think the shurikens are incredibly powerful due to the base stats of Speedy giving you so much flat damage. Allows to propel you into the game. Um, it's very nice. One of the things as well too with Speedy is you can wander across the whole map to grab up all the materials as well pretty quickly. Um, bounce usually leaves a ton of materials on the ground. 9% speed, we're shackled, so sure. And then power generators here, absolutely. What a killer item, hell yeah. Now we have percent damage. Uh, I'm gonna take this percent damage as well. Uh, we're still at 97 crit, not crit capped. We're also not capped on... I don't think we'd take the alien baby now that we're at 56 HP. Mm, yeah, probably not. Another gecko. Like a sad tomato. I mean, maybe? see how it does. Probably not great, but that reroll was awfully aggressive. Where is the boss? It's a rhino. I want him to go to the corner so that we can know where he's going and what he's doing. Ouch. Now that he has a shorter range charge, it kind of doesn't matter. We just get to run circles around him. Thanks, Rhino. Get me that item. Now one of the funny things is now is that you want to stand near the enemy with the highest amount of health or the highest density, so you keep throwing shurikens. Otherwise, you back up the wave on enemies here. Luck for crit and two armor? Okay. I usually don't take that item, but okay. In this particular instance, it could be pretty good. We're going to take the attack speed. We only have 40% attack speed, so having more is going to be good. Take this health, take the speed. Speed is two things now, it's been being converted into two different stats, so love that. Take lifesteal. I think we give up the dodge. We have some dodge already. And already having some dodge is pretty good. Leave the fertilizer, it'll be fine. Leave the shuriken as well too. 
It's probably not great to leave the shark in there, but I don't want to lock it because we may see another high tier item. We're looking for more high tier items. Two or three shurikens are going to be enough to finish the game. If I get offered more, that's fine too. We're basically at the crit cap. While moving, we have 17 armor, 29 dodge. We go for the dodge cap, uh, potentially. But depends on what we're offered, for sure. We could spend our reroll money. We could spend our money on rerolls in like level ups in the level up screen to see what we could get there to get closer to the dodge cap. Like, what items would I love to see? Hunting trophy, giant's belt. Uh, all the crit items are incredible. More dodge. Some of this. I I, I will take this because I would like to have a ton of health. Uh, no thanks. Stone skin. Oh. Uh. It says permanent armor. Though. Some of you might say like, oh, but when you stand still, you have a minus 100% minus 100 armor while standing still. Won't that lower your hit points? No, because it's not permanent. Permanent armor. This is why it says plus 17 right now, right? We're going to take it. Take the three life steal here. Grinds magic leaf. I don't think I've bought one of these in a long time. I think this is pretty good. More speed. We have plenty of luck. We will take this because we can buy it now. Don't have to wait on it. And see, we don't have... We're standing still, so we have minus 85 armor. And this is a good distinction here. Where is it? Where's the stone skin? Still says plus 15 HP. So this item and the power generator say permanent. And that is a very important word on the item. Um, because the speed from your character sheet, from your character card, like the, like the character item there, not the same as permanently adding it to your character sheet. Um, so this is why, why streamer uh, could have a lot of speed and get a power generator, right? The power generator still gives them like percent damage. The couch on streamer would be amazing, yeah. I don't know. I like nuking the couch for like 150 bucks. I've taken couch exactly three times and I've won every single run with it. But like, I... I've never taken couch and been like, I'm gonna win this run now. I take couch and be like, man, I should have nuked it so I could buy something else. Like, I, I don't mind that there's a red item out there that sucks. Um, it does suck to get it, especially if you're looking for something that's going to be helpful. But that 150 bucks ish that you're gonna get off of it, I don't know, however much it like nukes for, right? It's still good. Is a way to think about it as well, too. More damage, more. Dodge, dodge, okay. More damage, more. Hunting trophy, okay. Like to take couch when you're at pretty low speed. I would, I would argue that taking couch on low speed is worse because you already need your speed to be able to dodge. But like, I am a couch hater. But again, we all play to how we like to play. So don't let me stop you if you're a couch enjoyer. Enjoy you some couch. I believe SD was a streamer as well too. So all these items are named after streamers or YouTubers because Retromation and Sifty and other things. Oh, so there's just never a good uh, lightning bug. It's also just bad. <laughs> it's just bad. Because you need like armor to back it up. The, the three times I've taken it, I believe are ex almost exclusively on night where I have like low speed but high armor so that when I'm taking hits, it kind of doesn't matter and we're just regening a ton. Or I took it on Doctor or something. I forget. But yeah. I, I like to say that there are times in which you should take a every item. Like, no item is completely trash. But I think... I don't know. SD's couch is wand tier. Like, I like to put wand directly into the trash. There's no time which you should ever use the weapon wand. Ever. I even bought a torch earlier on this run on Gladiator. Right? On this particular rotation. I bought, I bought a torch. So, there are times to buy things. I mean, I guess. I don't know, like, what are we doing here? We're at the crit cap, okay. 
Uh, range, sure. Uh, dodge. Armor. Four more hit points. Trophy. 240 for a shuriken? That seems so cheap. So cheap. Yeah, if you feel strong and never... Yeah, you're already, like, winning that run. Exactly. It's like, oh, well, I'm already winning the run. Oh, hey. All right. Well, dodge cap almost. With that in mind, we'll just take this, because whatever. Buy out a little bit. All right, chef, we fight on the diagonal. We don't get slashed. Just fight on the diagonal. And now, don't get triple slashed here. I like to uh, wander in a circle, and I feel that it confuses... I don't know how the slashes are generated, but I feel if you, like... If you, like, it doesn't know where the slashes are going to be generated. If I just go in a straight line, I've been triple slashed before. I don't know, maybe this is just my my survivorship bias or whatever. But I don't know how they generate the slashes, but it feels better. Also, maybe if I'm already moving, we can continue to move in a direction and not get slashed or these other things. Yes, I've been triple slashed by, uh, each one of them are considered an individual slash. I've been triple slashed, and my biggest complaint about Mom is you get double slashed by him. I don't know, I've been triple slashed on Jack by, by, uh, Butch and died. What was that, like, 60 hit points and died? I, I don't know. Maybe the, I thought the iframe would save me, but did not. It was very annoying. I guess I take this. I don't know what else I'm taking this run. We're dodge capping here, basically. I don't think we need a rip and tear. Oh, hey, some of that, sure. Oh, hey, here's dodge cap. Here's a way to lose the run. We could buy a peacock. I don't think we'll lose the run, but let's give it a try. It's definitely leaving the door open to losing. Especially if we stand still. Like the extra damage, we're at 79. We have 21 positive armor. Holy shit. Ugh. It's too scary when they're buffed up. <laughs> when they have a red bar around them, it's too spooky. I think it depends on how the slashes are generated, because the slash does a swipe across it, and the slash doesn't do all of its damage in one burst. Because it's done as a swipe. So your iframe may not save you there. Which is why your like which is why your iframe wouldn't save you, is because the slashes are and they start from the back to the front. They they slash from the, the, the flat end of it to the tip. So that's why you may not be saved by the iframe. Right, dodge cap and other things. Do I even need to shop? I mean, I could. Like this, I guess. I don't know. More armor, more? Sure. <laughs> yeah, hey, a piggy bank. All right, good. We're finally getting a piggy bank. Now's, now's the time for piggy bank to shine. Oh god, it's so bad. We have so many red items. That's how funny. Tree, shuriken, don't buy the weird ghost and die. Don't stand still and die. Don't stand next to the wall and die as well, too, is another, like, kind of thing. Give yourself room to maneuver on the spite. Hi, Canadian. How are you? Hello? Looking forward to your stream later today. Got some Dead by Daylight, I'm sure. We have rated play Canadian before. Love them. Let's check out Speedy, though. Camera screen, too. This run is incredible. I love Shuriken. You don't have to move around all that much. Uh, we did get Shackles to cap our speed at 55, but uh, you don't you don't need that. Really, um, still at 289 harvesting because we got a crown so early. Uh, it means you can just buy as much stuff as you want. It felt like the run was so over much earlier. 
Uh, but look at all this power we were able to acquire due to having such high harvesting. Like, uh, this is the main stat in the game that when I see people avoiding it, I'm so confused. It gives you so much power. Like, sure, you have to live through waves 1 through 10 or whatever, but the more harvesting you stack in waves 1 through 10 means the rest of the game is so much easier. End of the game at level 29, uh, because we have 90% XP gain. This was buffed up a little bit by Peacock, so it's actually more like 65% XP gain. 65? Yeah. That's how math works. Um, the other killer at the very end here is Silver Bullet. It's multiplicative damage. It takes all your damage and multiplies by 25 and adds that onto your total damage against bosses. Therefore, the wave 20 bosses are so much easier with just even one Silver Bullet. With that said, if you like what you've seen, go ahead and subscribe on YouTube. And go ahead and press follow on Twitch. We'll see you on the next one.